Okay, the following case is really quite unusual with a dramatic looking echo. This cat had a left ventricular false tendon mimicking a functional valve, giving the impression that the left ventricular chamber was split into two portions by what looked like two valves. This was a two year old male neutered Siamese cat who was referred to me for further evaluation of a heart murmur. He was asymptomatic with no history of breathlessness, exercise intolerance, cough or syncope. On auscultation, I could hear a grade two out of six systolic murmur with point of maximal intensity over the left cardiac apex. His systolic blood pressure was normal at 130 millimeters mercury and an ECG demonstrated sinus rhythm with no evidence of ectopy. So here's the echo. So here's the right parasternal long axis view with labels showing the left atrium and the left ventricle separated by the mitral valve. However, what you can also see is a false tendon which crosses the mid portion of the left ventricle, separating this into what I've labeled as LV1 and LV2. Here's the same view in slow motion. As you can see, the motion of this false tendon gives the impression that there's two valves within the left ventricle. If we look at the left ventricle on the short axis view, you can see that there's a band of tissue or a false tendon crossing the left ventricle. Again, this is blown up, but you can see the false tendon uh, in the mid portion of the left ventricle at the level of the papillary muscles, which is what we commonly know as the mushroom view. With colour flow added, you can see that turbulence is being created in the mid portion of the left ventricle during systole, as the false tendon appears to cause an obstruction to outflow. Again, slow motion is useful to demonstrate this. The right parasternal long axis outflow view also demonstrates the obstruction nicely. This is now a left apical view with the left atrium and mitral valve at the bottom of the screen and the left ventricle at the top of the screen. In slow motion, what you can see is the false tendon acting like a sail in systole, which bellows causing progressive left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. With colour flow Doppler added, you can see blood accelerating through the mid portion of the left ventricle as the left ventricular outflow tract becomes dynamically obstructed through systole. With optimal continuous wave Doppler alignment through the obstruction, a peak velocity of 4.8 meters per second was measured, which is equivalent to a pressure gradient of almost 95 millimeters mercury. This cat is asymptomatic but he will be closely monitored for evidence of progression. To date, there has been no evidence of significant changes. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing one of the more unusual of my cases from referral practice.